What is the best string tension for your racket? 50 pounds. 52. 48. Well, we better find out which is right. Manorino goes 22. Madness. So across the tour, players are dropping their string tension. We're gonna find out what difference it really makes. Why would you change the tension? What does it actually do? So the lower you drop your tension, the more the strings move. So theory dictates lower tension means more string movement, more power, more spin, more comfort, but less control. I would temper that by saying, if you're creating lots of spin and that's how you want to gain control, more spin, so more string movement, could mean more control because you're getting the ball to drop in a little steeper. There is control of the outcome and there's control of the input. I'm talking input, you're talking output. For you to decide at home who you want to listen to. Does it, does it make any difference? Do you ever change your tension? I can't tell you. No. no. So it's always? Always 52. Always yeah. 52. Whether it's raining, sunny, indoors, outdoors. Yeah. yeah. See, that's, a, that's aspiring pro. Let's not mess, mess around, but we're going to give it a try, aren't we? We are. So we have four Yonex V-Core 100s with Polytor Rev, which is Emily's favorite string, and they are strung at 50 pounds, 45 pounds, 40 pounds, and 35. Not quite Manorino, but nice and loose, so you yeah. should get plenty out of them. Emily and myself are going to be doing a two minute training drill using the brand new baseline machine, which you can see right here. So this is scanning the court much like Hawkeye would if you're at a professional tournament. And it's basically just gonna measure the speed, the depth, and the consistency of our shots. And at the end, give us a score. We have two minutes to see how many balls we can get and how fast we can do it. Um, we're gonna do four times, one with each racket. You're gonna tell us which one you like best at the end. Yes. Um, so we are seeing whether Emily would consider dropping that tension down. Our tightest strung racket is already lower than her usual. So when it gets down to 35, let's see whether that extra pop is tempting for you. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> let's go. So Ben and Emily have just come off court having tested four different tensions in the Yonex Vico 100 using the baseline vision machine. So we played, you played with tension at 50, at 45, at 40, at 35. Which was the preferred tension? I preferred the 45. The 45, so seven, seven gram drop in what you usually use, that's quite significant. Well, it's more significant than that because Emily normally uses a 98 square inch v core So yep. we've already made it a little bit looser by going to 100. So 100 square inch rackets are usually a bit more powerful, so you would string them slightly tighter. So by dropping to, well, by increasing from 98 up to 100 and then dropping the tension, that might mean there's quite a lot of scope for you to try experimenting with other things. Yes. Yeah, well, so you, so we're in, in a 98, you could go full Manorino, down to 22. <laughs> so why 45? What did you like about 45? Well, I felt that I was able to still get pop on it while still maintaining a good level of spin. Yeah. So more. So you think you were getting you were getting more spin than you would do if at normal 52? Um, a little bit more. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, and this is the thing. Whenever any of you watching decides you want to try trying new tensions out, new strings, any kind of racket adjustment. There's always this idea that you've got to find what works best for you, right? We don't want to be just, oh, Manorino does this or Federer did that, that's what I'm going to do. You've got to find your happy place, the thing that makes everything work for you. And what was interesting from my end of the court, obviously trying to rally with a very good player, was the higher tensions at 50, at 45 and at 40, 
Amelie's ball was really solid, really consistent and under control, mm -hmm. the word I use. But as soon as we dropped down to 35, this isn't a criticism of you, the, the, it just, the ball was just so much more wild. So not necessarily bad, if that's what I find it, found it harder to play against, but you said you also found it harder yeah. to control, right? So you could argue going down to 35 is good if it makes your opponent struggle, but not if you're going to lose the control and confidence to actually play. Yeah. So we actually have some data to support um, what we have just seen. So the baseline machine tells you your average uh, ground stroke speed. Now, when Amelie dropped that tension, her average speed went up. Only a little bit, it was two, three percent, but two, three percent on a ground stroke, every single shot of a match is gonna be a significant improvement just by changing tension. Play. Yeah, so as, as we always say, really important to try the things out. Now, you might not be in a position to get nine different rackets and five different tensions and all that sort of stuff, but it's worth just trying different tensions in increments, right? Drop it, drop it down a little bit, see if you like it, drop it down again. It's exactly what I did. I went from 56 now down, now down to 48, or like, and, but just in two gram drops each time. So with that in mind, do you th are you thinking now about maybe dropping the tension? Yeah. I think I'm going to look into it. And yeah. See. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. what are we going to say? We've got a 52 pounds in a, 40, in a 98 yeah. square inch head. So where would we start? Where would you suggest, Joe, we go first? In a 98, going to drop to 48 to start with? Yeah, I mean, I, that's, that, I, I, like, I like 48. Yeah. Polystring, 48 in a, in a 98 racket, really good. Yeah, and then we're seeing like about 5, 10% change at a time. Would it be probably sensible? Yes. Yeah, you, it's enough of a change that you're going to feel a significant difference, but not so much of a change that you're going to completely lose control. Obviously, if you are lucky enough to have two rackets or even three, probably do them all at the same time slightly differently. If you've only got the one, you're going to have to Log it down, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> oh, that, get, oh, that felt. get a spreadsheet out. Yeah, yeah, get a spreadsheet. Or get yourself a baseline machine. So, so there you have it. Emily has been through four different tensions and she might be changing, at least starting to experiment, which is what we're all about. Experiment, adapt, and get better. Yeah, there is no right answer. It's just what you prefer. Um, we all different. We all have different rackets, different strings, different tensions. So just experiment until you find your perfect match. Now you ready for your bit? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow and share. Nailed it. Well done. And you'll never miss a thing from PH Tennis and Emily Brooks. <laughs>